So far, the Indian Space Agency has succeeded in missions to Moon and Mars and in multiple space faring attempts. However, all of these were uncrewed missions. Henceforth, India will be stepping into the era of sending astronauts to space and establishing India's long-term presence there. A high-level meeting has been chaired by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in this regard. Vyond Senior Correspondent Siddharth MP gives us more perspective and tells us the significance of the latest announcements. Listen in. Over the last six decades, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, has developed end-to-end -end space capability for India. This means the ability to build, design and launch rockets. In addition to that, India can also design and build and launch their own satellites and control them. India has also done deep space missions, including missions to the moon, missions to the Mars, and also science missions to study and understand the mysteries of space. But this is the phase in the first 60 years. After the Chandrayaan-3 landing, the Indian government and the Indian Space Agency has had a renewed vigor and confidence in the capabilities of the Indian space program. As part of that, a significant new boost has been offered to the Indian space program right from above with the highest office, uh, with the political will of the Indian Prime Minister's office. We have to remember that the Indian Prime Minister in a review meeting today with the chairman of ISRO and his top officials revealed that India has big ambitions in space. So far, India has been sending only robotic crafts to explore space. But henceforth, in the coming decades, it will be the time for crewed missions where India will be sending crews or astronauts to space to study the various facets of space and explore the unknown. So they'll start off with what is known as Gaganyaan, India's maiden astronaut mission in 2025. And thereafter, by 2035, India will establish its space station or its orbiting lab around Earth. And thereafter, by 2040, India hopes to land its astronauts on the moon. So this is the kind of lofty planning that's happening at the highest levels of Indian government. And this is, of course, a significant boost for the Indian space program, which over the last 60 years has been dominated by the government sector. And henceforth, there will be more involvement from the private sector as well. But what we'll have to wait and see is the kind of budget that will be allocated for this. Because when manned missions or crewed missions are sent to space, the budget increases exponentially and there will be more technology scaling up required, which involves bigger rockets, more powerful crafts and more reliable technology. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One.